Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today we're going to talk about the latest update to Samsung's GoodLock. Now, GoodLock is a suite of applications created by Samsung for Samsung devices. So all you have to do is just go inside of Galaxy Store, search for GoodLock, and then you'll get this entire suite of all these different applications that were created by Samsung. You have this little tab on the bottom called Make Up, and then you also have Life Up. There's a lot of really cool things inside of here to really customize your Samsung Galaxy device, maybe make it a little bit more cool in terms of its appearance or maybe add a little bit more features that makes a few of the other features inside of the Samsung phone just a little bit better. And so for some of the examples of some of these different applications, it can enhance all of the features such as one hand operation plus camera assistance. So it brings in more features to your camera sound assistance. So you have more settings and features inside of using your volume rocker as well as Pentastic, especially if you have the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So you can change a bunch of different settings for the S Pen itself. Now, I know a lot of people were mentioning that, you know, good luck was something that was uh, region locked. And, and Samsung has opened it up. So I was able to find an article talking about that. If you want to use good luck, sadly, Samsung continues to region lock this experiential feature. But thankfully, the company brought good luck to more markets late last year, including Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Denmark, Mexico, Norway, Peru, Poland, Portugal, Slovakia, Sweden, Thailand, and the Czech Republic, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Finland, Malaysia, and the Netherlands. Samsung may plan to expand availability to even more regions, but so far, good luck is not accessible across the entire Europe and Latin America. So just give it a little bit more time for it to expand to more locations. Now, good luck itself had an update. I wasn't able to save it for this video, but I was able to take a screenshot. And basically this newer version will help fix bug fixes and UI improvement, Chinese translation update, and update to badge logic improvement. Now, if we want to go and take a look at the version of GoodLock, so you can see if you have the latest version yourself, the latest version is 220458. Now, again, all you'd have to do is go inside of your Galaxy Store up over here, search for GoodLock, and then this way you'd be able to see if there's updates. Or you go inside of Menu, you go to Updates, and you may see it there. Now, I went inside of here, and there was quite a few sitting there that I hit the update for, and that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. So I'm going to head on back. Again, on the very top, all you have to do is just search for GoodLock. You're able to find it. There would be an Update button or You'd be able to simply just open it. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you a few of these applications that had some recent updates and what is new. So one of them that's updated is Theme Park. So if I hit this little download button, even though I don't use Theme Park on my phone, I like the way that it is, you'd be able to see what is new, which we'll take a look at. And this one was updated on April 4th. Uh, the size was 14.89 megabytes. And what is new with this update is it fixes the layout broken issue of quick panel preview, the square squircle icon size adjusted and other bug fixes and usability improvements. So if you're somebody who uses theme park, you might want to take a look to see that there has been an update uh, basically just a couple days ago. And now we're going to take a look at a few other applications, but I'm going to go right back inside of good lock from over here. Another one that I know for a fact that has been updated within the last couple days or even today or yesterday is one hand operation plus. So I'm going to hit on more because this is one that I have downloaded to my phone. You can see here I can un uninstall it. So I'm going to go inside of the store so I can take a look at the details. So if any of these has updated in the background that you missed, so now you can see what is new as well as when it updated. So this was updated on April 5th. The size was 6.42 megabytes. And what is new is the integration of hide handles setting inside of the advanced settings, which we can also take a look at. You can add the, the widget page looping. So it should say widget, not widget, but widget page looping option for widget pop-up. Uh, and then modified to switch to full screen when repeating the full screen function. Also, it will be disabled when you're in a photo uh, inside of edit mode in the gallery app. So if you're inside your gallery app, you're editing a photo, uh, this right here, the one hand operation plus will actually disable. So this way you can fully edit a photo without you having to accidentally go back. Because sometimes you might have something on the sides that you're trying to edit. Uh, and it's a way that you'd be able to basically have it disabled. Fixed a problem when connecting Android Auto. Fixed a problem when clicking media icon consecutively 
in Quick Tools and then other stability improvements. So we're gonna go inside of One Hand Operation Plus so I can kind of show you this. Now, because I already use all of the, the swipe and gestures from regular Android 13, Android 14, um, I haven't really used the One Hand Operation Plus when it comes to this one because basically with One Hand Operation Plus, it adds in the ability of doing left handle, right handle. You can see right here, my right handle already has that widgets pop-up. And so with the widgets pop-up, let's say that on the right hand side, if I was to swipe down, widgets pop-up will pop up. Now inside of the settings, as it was mentioning, because you have all of these options here of what you're doing with your swipe, with inside of these settings, you have this brand new option, which is widget page looping. So you can loop back to the first page after scrolling past the last page of a widget. So if you take a look at your widgets, you have multiple stack widgets and you wanted to, you know, as you're going to the end of the page and actually loop through it. So this way it's not just going to end at the very end. So that's pretty much it for this one sitting right here. And then another one that it mentioned inside of the One Hand Operation Plus is when you go inside of the advanced settings, you'll have this right here, which is called the hide handle. So you'd be able to select, you know, landscape mode, the quick panel, lock screen or home screen. So if you would like to hide any of these handles right here, you can choose where you want them to hide. The lock screen, home screen, you know, if you go inside of landscape mode, uh, and so those are some of the options sitting right there. So going through where it mentioned with the One Hand Operation Plus, uh, this right here is what's new. This is what they're talking about. There's the looping, then there's the hide handles. And then if you were to edit the photo again, it will be disabled. So I'm gonna go back inside of here. I'm gonna turn this off because I use the, ran the, the already Android gestures. Uh, they work great for me. Now going through just a couple of the other ones, if you wanted to take a look at the camera assistant, this one I believe was updated on March 30th. Yes, it was. So there's a few updates to March 30th. So again, that was just basically a week ago. So you wanna make sure you have that one. Registrar wasn't too long ago. I think it was about a month ago. Sound Assistant, I believe this one had one up there about maybe 10 days ago. So this one was March 27th. So that one is fairly new if you didn't happen to catch it. So you can go through a few of these other ones if you want to take a look at. Some of them actually haven't been updated since like October or November, like this one sitting right here. So you don't have to worry about that one. Uh, if you take a look inside of Pentastic, uh, if we go inside of the store, this one wasn't updated since like October 25th. So I, I'm pretty sure I found the majority of them, which is basically theme park. Uh, and then also One Hand Operation Plus. Camera Assistant and Sound Assistant was fairly recent, just about you know one week to 10 days ago. Uh, if you wanna take a look at a few of these other ones, especially if you already had them downloaded, you'd be able to see that little uh, notification, little icon letting you know that there is a newer update. This one was on March 31st, which is home up. Some of the stuff that was fixed here is basically the, the fixed bug that changed the folder grid after rebooting, fixed the grid setting bug of the cover screen if in the fold device and fix some other areas. So really it, it kind of just fixed the whole folder grid thing. So if you set it up to be a folder grid of, you know, six by six or five by five after rebooting, it completely changed. So this one right here, you know, pretty much fixed it up. If you guys were using home up and you ran into that issue, quick star, this will just be the last one that I take a look at. Uh, this one was updated back in January. So a couple months ago. So there we go. There's basically four or five that was very recent you know, within either the last one or two days or the last uh, seven to 14 days. So take a look at it. You can see that the good lock, you know, homepage of the UI has kind of changed a little bit. If you do have any modules sitting right here that still have the update to be done on the very top right hand side, when you see those three little dots, if you tap that, you'll actually see the word updates or update you'll be able to tap that button and you're able to update all of them at once. So if you have one, or five, it'll get all of them updated for you. But sometimes it is actually kind of fun to go through each individual one to see what is brand new and when it came. Again, here's where you can see what is new if you wanna take a look at it. Uh, and then also when it happened, which is gonna be right below it here. So that is what I would suggest. It's kind of going through all of them one by one, unless if you don't really care and you wanna figure them out as time goes on, you can do that as well. But this is the updated good lock. Uh, they also added in all those additional countries and regions that you're able to use good lock. Again, there's some areas that are not ready yet for it. And some of those that is not ready is basically Europe and Latin America, hopefully soon. 
those will be expanded into. Other than that, here's all of the brand new areas that allows Goodlock to be used in their region. So if you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.